Hello, hello. I've arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight, theoretical medical professional. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Hello, hello. So, we're late again today. But, at least it's due to reasons not entirely within my control today. I guess most of them were outside of my control, but anyway. So yes, so I had to go to a meeting, and I was a little bit late on account of that. But I am here now, so we will make use of what time we can. But yes, given the time requirements, or rather the, uh... Yeah, given the limited amount of time we have left, we might run a little bit late and we might not do a raid this evening. I'd very much like to avoid not doing a raid, but I will... I will make whatever sacrifices are necessary to ensure that we can complete this event. But yes, I don't anticipate completing it today, unless we get very, very fast at going through as of yet uncleared levels. But we did see some fairly easy, or at least a fairly easy level at the end of uh, Gaviel Great Chief Returns. And uh, yeah, anyway, all this is to say, if I have to accept a less than five, or less than less than five star. I don't think five star is even possible to com <laughs> achieve in this game. Okay. Need to wind down a little bit, be a little bit less frantic, because we're not in that much of a rush. Anyway, so, tonight, Ark Knights. Tomorrow, almost certainly also Ark Knights. Wednesday, also almost certainly Ark Knights. So yes. Thursday, one way or the other, will not be Ark Knights, and will probably be a break. And then Friday, most likely that will be the uh, continuation and perhaps conclusion of the Coffee Talk collab with Sheppy Sheps, or we might move on to the next game, who knows. But yes, I haven't yet discussed with Sheppy Sheps whether, like, to double check whether or not we were going to be available that day. Usually we figure that out on the day of. Things happen, you know how it is. But yes, um, and yeah, I haven't sp yet spoken about whether we want to do all of the secrets in that game. But yes. Anyway, so, coffee talk, probably, maybe, Friday, 9 p.m. Central Time, roughly. But yes, I expect tomorrow and Wednesday's streams to be roughly 8.30 p.m. Central Time, but I also expected this to be roughly 8.30 p.m. Central Time, and now it is not. See us. Anyway, that should cover it for this week. Next week, we should be back to Arknights, doing more Arknights and some other non-Arknights things. See us. I think... I don't know. We've got Mika and the Witch's Mountain, and we've got Uma Musume Party Dash that we want to play. I think of them... Of them, I'm most interested in continuing Mika and the Witch's Mountain. But there's a part of me that does want to do Umu Musume, because we've only done one stream of that, whereas we've done two of Mika. I suppose I don't need to balance anything in any particular way, but it feels right to me. Anyway, but that is neither here nor there. But what is here are some notifications that I've missed. I don't know how to replay notifications with my current setup, so I don't believe... I could maybe figure it out, but I don't want to... Again, I don't want to take too much time away, because I'm already given to meandering. I'm already there right now, so... But yes, Fractal Cactus FGC, I believe... Yeah, Fractal Cactus FGC followed a while ago. I don't believe I acknowledge them. Um, and let's see, I think Expert New. I think... I think I gave them a shout out the other day when they followed. Yeah, I think I made note of that. I'm not 100% sure though. If not, thank you for the follow. And thank you Fractal Cactus FGC for the follow. Because I didn't say that explicitly. Um, and yes, also Queer Portance. Follow thank you for the follow. Follow for the thank you? No. Thank you for the follow. Anyway, so Ark Knights, video games. Let's go. <laughs> But yes, last time, we entered a world of property damage, and upon the property being damaged, we too were damaged. So yes, 
So you can see there are a lot of barricades in this level, and there are some big tough guys that are going to destroy those barricades with every fiber of their being. So we don't want that to happen, because if they do destroy those barricades, or at the very least, if they destroy all these barricades on the side here, we lose, basically. So, giving it some more thought, I've come to some conclusions. But yes, our current team setup is less than ideal for this. But yeah, we don't have a lot of arch damage in general. And Astesia, I think, is going to be basically useless for this task. Because the uh, advance... Uh, what were they? Advance... Battle line advance guards. So yes, the battle line advanced guards, which are the ones who break the walls, are very, very strong. <laughs> they are strong enough that they can nearly defeat uh, the very tough croissant in a singular strike from their wicked hammers. And there's like four or five of them at a certain point. So, uh, yeah, Estesia is not going to, for all of her many virtues, Estesia is not going to stand up to their, to their strikes. No siri. But yes. Likewise, it seems unlikely that Croissant is going to be able to is going to be able to endure basically any. If we really get lucky with Miracle Field, she could maybe hold out for like a second. But I don't think we can I don't think we could reasonably heal her unless we deployed like Unless we really pulled some shenanigans, I don't think we could reasonably heal her back up to a point where she wouldn't die immediately from the next hit. But yes, even if Miracle Miracle Field proc like two or three times in a row. So yes, all of this is to say, I think that we need to start applying some splash damage. Splash arts damage specifically. They are vulnerable to arts. <coughs> so yes. So I think in light of that, we also are going to want to swap Earth Spirit off the team. The idea of her, or at the very least, not use her in that capacity. I'd put her down with the notion of, you know, she's a slower. She does arts damage, and she stalls enemies a little bit. That will prevent them from, you know, going forward. That's a good idea, but it, I don't think we really have, uh... Because the thing is, even with, um... Yeah, even with Earth Spirit's quicksand conversion, which can slow multiple enemies, it's not, it doesn't last that long. It doesn't last long enough, I think, for us to really deal with the advanced guards. But yes, we could get maybe a few seconds more of uh, slowing out of them, or like stall them for a few seconds more, but I don't think it's going to be quite enough at this point. Nevertheless, I am somewhat more inclined to keep Earth Spirit than I am to keep Astesia, because Astesia is simply, simply not it. <laughs> because her arch damage is good, but she will not survive. So, not a reasonable choice for this for this purpose. Steward has been doing fine. Part of the problem is we just don't have a lot of good casters because I've not used casters a whole lot myself. I've slept on them quite a bit. But yes, Heiabe is a good choice. She's fairly high level and she's got a very good ability for this. She's got a few good abilities for this. She's got an ability that can slow and an ability that deals extra damage based on the enemy's defense. Either of which would be very good for dealing with high defense enemies. Yeah, high defense enemies such as this that we simply cannot allow to get to the front line. <clears throat> yes, Kaebe would be an excellent choice for this for this purpose. I'm a little bit reluctant to pick her on the grounds that she would be almost too good, I feel, but I do want to beat this mission, so. Needs must. Um Other than that, I do think a splash caster or perhaps a phalanx caster would be good. I'm more inclined to think Splash Caster, so that is a caster who deals damage, and then all enemies sort of in the around that enemy take damage. But, we do have one other option that I think would be pretty appropriate for this. 
exactly us. We have a very specific, previously rather unique type of caster, though I think at least on the Chinese version there is another caster who has a similar role. And I think we might just make use of this very special caster. The one and only Ifrit. Yes, so Ifrit is a blast caster. This means that she attacks in a line, as you can see down here in her attack range. So she attacks in a very long line, and I think this would be very good for the purpose that we need her. Yes. Yes. So, as you can see here, we have this line here. This is where the enemies are going to, to group up. And since they're going to be in that specific line for a very long time, I think that would be a really great place to put Ifrit. Because they'll, you know, all be stuck here for a while and she'll, she can roast them. And then they'll be stuck here for a while and she can roast them. And then they'll be stuck here for a while and she can roast them. And then they'll be stuck here for a while and she can roast them. And all the a while, they will all be taking damage because she just deals damage to every single enemy in that line. Yeah, she doesn't have to worry about, you know, targeting an enemy and then dealing damage to all enemies around it. She just deals damage to her entire attack range with every attack. So yes, so I think that Ifrit could be a very good choice if we want a multi-target caster. I think Kaobe would be a good choice if we want a single target caster. But I've not used Ifrit very much, and I do want to get her a little bit powered up and make use of her a little bit more. Because she is a very interesting character. And she's definitely a character that we'll want to that I definitely want to talk about a bit more going forward. But yeah, she has an interesting story and connections to other characters that have interesting stories. So let's get her promoted. means my flames can burn brighter, right? Indeed. All right. <clears throat> this will increase her cost quite significantly. She already has a high cost, which leaves me a little bit leery. That's the price of dealing with six stars, I suppose. So it might not be perfect in that way, but I do think that she is a very good choice nonetheless. But yes, her talent, uh, Spiritual Dissolution, decreases resistance of enemies within range. <clears throat> and when she, yeah, when she gets promoted, she'll get a little bit of extra range. Yes, Pyroclasm deals 160% of arts of attack, arts damage in the next attack. Target's defense minus 100 for three seconds, causing them to take immolation damage. Yes, yeah, Spiritual Dissolution will also de or will also improve in power. Will fanaticism be better, though, I wonder? Because we don't need to worry about their defense, because they're not going to be attacked by physical damage-dealing units, at least ideally not. The, yeah, spiritual dissolution, the resistance reduction would be significantly higher. But even though it's, you know, Half, it nearly doubles the amount of resistance that is reduced. It's not necessarily going to nearly double the amount of damage that's done. So it, this could very well be a case when, where we don't necessarily want to promote her right away. Because yeah, I think she, she does have the range we need. I think we, we might use her just as she is for right now. And we'll see how we go how we need it, if our needs change going forward. As for Steward, again, I don't really want to just swap him out for Aobe, for instance, but we'll see how this attempt goes. But yes, other than that, I think everyone else is fine. But yes, I do need to be more mindful of the temporary cover. Yeah, beyond that, I think everyone was doing all right. The song is fine. Use is fine. 
dock is fine. I mean, I'm not going to switch out the rainbow, the rain, the team rainbow operators. This much is certain, but they're doing fine anyway. Um, again, we could always level up our units a little bit more to make this a little bit easier. We will see. We will see. Hey, they made me the captain, so. I'm the one calling the shots here. So yes. let some we do also have a battle line advance guard on the left here. So that is a little bit of an issue for us, but it's not a dramatic issue for us. I think, I do think we want Myrtle here, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, I don't remember precisely where we put Myrtle, now that I think about it. But this should be as good a spot as any, I think. Um... Try not to get yourselves hurt. So yes, the Myrtle Dock pair up should be perfectly fine for our purposes. But yes. We could. Hmm. There's a few ways we could swing this. We could start. Like, put down Ayla right away and start dealing some more ranged damage. But I do think it would be to our benefit. Oh, actually, I just realized if we put Ifrit up here, she's going to be within range of getting, or she's going to be, well, I was going to say she's going to be subjected to getting shot, but these guys are going to shoot at her, or they're not going to shoot at her, is the point. They're going to shoot at the uh, operators in front of her. So yes. Violent response should do us very well. Ifrit is also doing very well so far. She is performing her role admirably. But yes, we can now deploy Fuse. But yes, Ifrit has already done a lot of good work for us. And if we need to, we can also deploy a temporary cover here. I do need to be mindful that that's, you know, an option. So, I do think that we... Well, okay, it's too late now. I was going to say, I do think we want to protect that barricade a little bit, but... Um... I do want Steward around here somewhere to do a little bit more Arch DPS. So yes, temporary cover. I don't think the enemies can attack that, per se. Down you go. Hmm, we should... Slow. You want. Should you use her skill, today, actually. Okay, okay. Down you go. Hmm. I guess it doesn't really matter that much if that front one specifically gets destroyed. Oh dear. That's fine with me. I'd really rather if Perfumer does, didn't get destroyed. Down you go. Okay, okay. Ready to go. We don't need that right away. We can live without it. Myrtle. Oh dear, right. Steward was put in a location where he uh, was getting shot at. So I did need to keep that in mind. Okay, so the... Okay, so the... Okay, okay, okay. So the advance guard there is no longer... Their hammer doesn't have the, like, visual effect on it. Which would imply to me that it is no longer... Like, they don't have the damage buff currently. I do... I don't want Perfumer to get shot too much, so... I think we can activate... Yeah, we can activate Violent Response. Again, in theory, reinforcing the barricades further back is more effective. Because they are... enemies are going to spend more time walking forward towards them.
Okay, okay. We're doing all right. Um, we don't yet have Steward back. I suppose we can... We might as well have Earth Spirit out. Just for a little bit more arch damage. I mean, we... There's... If we've got the space, if we've got the deployment limit, we might as well just deploy as many units as we can to attack them. But yes, now we're definitely in a scary place, though, because we don't have any more reinforcement devices. Hey, get in the line of death! Oh boy. All right. All right, all right, all right. Down you go. So if they make it to Myrtle, Myrtle's not in a good way. But... They aren't necessarily going to make it to Myrtle. Earth Spirit is probably... is going to get stunned there, but she's not going to go down. So yes, we don't... Mm, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> that was just kind of a shot in the dark. I didn't really have a plan for that. It just I just kind of used it. But I, uh, we have one, so this is fine, I think. Anyway... Okay, so yes, yeah, so a little bit of thinking can take you a long way. Alright, now that we have settled the most stressful stage, sit. I suppose I said that before I actually took my sit. Non-traditional, but it works. <laughs> okay. I've got your backs. So yes, one way or another, we have won. So... Ifrit was very much a good pick here. Mission accomplished. Ooh boy. <laughs> Just hoping that the next one isn't quite so stressful. Ah, right. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, Milos here, I learned. His name is, in fact, pronounced something akin to Milos. I didn't take that much time to verify that it is, you know super strictly uh yeah the exact pronunciation of it but it is pronounced within the the character after the i is pronounced with something something approximating an l sound so yes miss ella what brings you here where is ray now he's playing golf on the balcony wait miss ella My apologies. Did the shot hit you just now? Uh, why are you so angry? Something happened in Diaz's community yesterday. Something happened? What do you mean? Haven't you heard? Their arts festival performance has been ruined. Why does this sound like an accusation? Milos asked me to persuade the community to push back their performance so that it doesn't conflict with your opening ceremony. Right, I asked Milos to talk to you about it. So you think that, because you weren't amenable to the proposal, I asked someone else to do this. I saw Milos talking to that captain several times when I was your bodyguard. His drug warehouse is under your name. Looking at it now, your relationship isn't nearly as tense as it seemed. He's even on your ceremony's guest list. I've had my suspicions that I didn't investigate, but now that this happened, I have to work out what's going on. Tell me, Miss Ayla. Did you come here with a prejudiced answer? No prejudices here. I want to hear your explanation. No, my communication with that man is not about cooperation. It's more to watch him play the fool. So many have come up short when working against that community, and I was thinking that perhaps he too would get a taste of his own medicine at their hands. What? That's the truth. It doesn't matter if you believe me or not, but I didn't order him to do this. Maybe you didn't intend for this to happen, but did you think of the consequences beforehand? We sent a leader of an armed force to deal with a bunch of unarmed civilians. I never expected this to... Or, maybe you never cared. You built this extravagant museum for the sake of your ego, is that not enough? Why do you keep harassing people that have nothing to do with you, over and over again? 
Why? You really need any of this to prove yourself? Enough, Miss Ayla. It's time for you to leave. Mr. Milos, I've been meaning to ask, how can you stand spending so much time around this monster? Get out. Enough, Miss Ayla. If you insist on making someone the mastermind of this tragedy, then let's just say you have the man. But it's time for you to go. Hmm. The man turns and stands firm, ignoring Ayla. He shifts his center of gravity, twists his shoulder inwards, then swings his club elegantly. Man, what a send-off. A real power move, that is. The golf ball draws an arc in the sky, and although it should have landed roughly a meter from the hole, it strangely changes its trajectory mid-air and slips into the hole. Ayla picks up a golf ball from the basket and lifts, and lifts it up under the sun. I noticed it a while ago. Doesn't it? It doesn't matter how strange your trajectory is, your shots always land in the hole. Mr. Milos, as the man closest to Raynell, can you tell me why? Have you ever tried a single drive on your own merit, Raynell? Ever tried to draw a real curve in the sky? Many times. How did they go? It's exhausting. There are no holes in the grass. It's a futile exercise. Well, that's too bad. Ayla lets out a sigh and throws the golf ball in her hand. It tumbles in the grass for several revolutions before slowly drifting into the hole. How did it go? Is it done? Yeah, man, I do want to talk a little bit about the Raynell situation. I'm still... Okay, given what we've seen so far, I'm still confident that he didn't intend for what has happened to happen. But yeah, I'm not con I'm not super convinced that, like, he has a genuine sort of, uh, has a genuine, like, any sort of malice towards the street art community. Yeah, clearly we've seen that it's mostly the coalition government and their, you know, associates who are interested in that area. But yes, including Matteo here. But yeah, just to remind you all, last time around, we saw a cutscene in which uh, Milos had mentioned that some explosives were placed. And, uh, yeah, uh, Raynell had talked about giving something, or about... Yeah, comparing the life of the street art community's exhibits. I think specifically their puppets, which have now been dismantled. Describing their their life versus, uh, yeah, the value of them in life versus, or the interest of them in life, versus the amount of interest that something, didn't specify what, but that something would get from an, like, a magnificent death, I believe it was. So yeah, given what we've seen... It seems very unlikely to me that any of the explosives that he mentioned, which were, yeah, also mentioned, though not in relation to him, yeah, explosives were mentioned also by Tequila elsewhere. But yeah, it seems unlikely that these explosives that Raynell had placed somewhere have anything to do with the street art community. But yeah, last time around, I sort of put forth a few different uh, a few different theories. One, again, the one that I felt was least likely that he was trying to bomb the street art community or that he intends to do so. But yeah, again, we've never seen him act directly against them. So that seems unlikely. But yeah, given what we've seen now, he s seems to have sort of accepted like the blame for, you know, what has happened here, but he seems to have accepted it in sort of a, yeah, you know, whatever. I'm. Let's just say that I'm. I'm the one who's at fault here. Kind of way. I don't doubt that he did probably, you know, 
he did, you know, try to get them to change the date of their exhibit or of their uh, event. We know that much, but it doesn't seem like he specifically had any desire to cause, you know, the sort of destruction that he did or that has been half caused. But yes. So again, I feel like the, or rather, okay, let me go over the, the two other theories that I had again. I suspect that the most likely theory in my mind is that he is possibly intends to do something, I don't know, I don't, actually, what did I say was the most likely theory? I don't remember. I don't know. But the two other targets that I suggested were something related to him, perhaps the gallery itself, the galleria itself, or a target related to, uh, related to, uh, Mateo. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like it could be the Galleria. I feel, now I feel like that is the most, like, likely scenario. Because, you know, that is a place that he definitely undeniably has access to, considering that he lives and works there. So yes, if there is anywhere in the world where he could have planted explosives, it's there. And granted, he didn't do it himself, but you know. But yes, if there's anywhere where he or the people under him could have planted explosives, it would be there. But yes. Again, the possibility of it being somewhere with uh, that would harm Mateo or the coalition government is still on my radar. But if Mateo is going to be there, then exploding the Galleria will harm him. You know, because explosions uh, harm people sometimes. Anyway, so I guess that, yeah, exploding the Galleria does potentially kill two foul beasts with one bolt. Anyway. Sit. How did it go? Is it done? Good. Even the timing of the evacuation was perfect. This is the first time you've ex executed something so beautifully since I came to the souls. Those four. Don't worry about them. Didn't you pull that punk? Didn't you put that punk out of commission? The whole community must be furious now. They can't stop them. Now hurry up and get back here. We still have bigger fins to fry. Once this is dealt with, it'll be smooth sailing for both you and me. What do you mean, half the force? We'll use all the forces at our disposal. This will make or break everything. Get it together. Right. Send everyone back to the Galleria. Have them stand by for orders. The more the better. The cost is no object when compared to the potential profit. Oh, and one last thing. Remember to send a couple smart, lib-tongued, fast runners to get those in the community riled up. We, want them to we wouldn't want to flame them to flame out disappointingly. All right. The fact that their whole force, apparently, is going to be concentrated at the Galleria makes me think even more that maybe this place is going to explode. <laughs> because if he does want Mateo to, to fall and the community is not going to be able to execute on that as he was hoping for, this would be the place. <sighs> El Capitan breathes a long sigh. Although the stage and seats have been set up outside the Galleria for its opening ceremony, there is hardly anyone in attendance yet. Huh? This is so boring. I thought there'd be something warming up the party if I got here earlier. Still a few hours to go. Nobody's here yet. We didn't have to rush over. Uh. What are you laughing about? There might just be a surprise for getting here early. That was heavy-handed of them. This is all I can do right now. It may be difficult for you to perform more precise tasks with your right hand in the future. Precise tasks? Like writing or painting. Sorry. It's not your fault. Remember to come get your wound redressed tomorrow. If 
only I had got down there just a moment sooner. Don't blame yourself. The people here are much faster and physically capable than us. It's not easy to give chase. I know that, but the officer did it right in front of me. Ayla, you're back. What did Raynell say? He didn't order this, but that doesn't mean he's totally unrelated. What, what do you mean? Are you defending him? Raynell contacted the captain and told him that as long as he could take care of the troublesome elements in the community, he would get the development rights to the neighborhood. How is that not him giving the order? But he also told me his goal was to see the captain make a fool of himself for offending him. He knows the people of the community are capable. Why doesn't he come and take a look at what happened to the place himself, then? How could he say that? Calm down, Kateb. Even if I could calm down, what about the people in the community? Go take a look outside. How are they supposed to calm down once they hear Raynell's excuse? Four of them feel a tremendous sense of despair as they walk amongst the crowd. Quite the scene we've got here. The members of the community sit despondent on the sides of the streets. All of them look as though their souls have been sucked away. Once, this was where they poured their enthusiasm, hard work, and inspiration. But, there is nothing left here now. Looking around, some are slowly lifting their heads to stare up at the blank expressions on each other's faces. But, more of them simply sit there, unsure of what else to do. I always gotta get screenshot opportunities. Ayla! Ayla! Oh yeah, so another quick aside. I did learn uh, what Ayla's sibling's name actually is. It's Zofia. Not to be confused with uh, another Arknights character who is also named Zofia. Well, I say another Arknights character, but Zofia Rainbow Six Siege is not, as of yet, in Arknights. Heck no? Is it Raynell? Is it that rat who sent the Coalition jerks to lay waste to our hard work just for the sake of his opening ceremony? Heck no. There are a few things we needed to confirm first, but I don't think... You don't think what? You used to be his bodyguard. Of course you're making excuses for him. An eye for an eye, I say. We should take to his Galleria. Have everyone bring what's left of the festival. Once we're there, we'll smash that at Raynell's Galleria with... You don't think that makes us look too weak? Weak? What else do you want us to do? We should be charging the Galleria to make Raynell and his secretary pay for this with their blood. Okay, so this is definitely one of the agitators that Mateo sent. There's someone in the crowd fanning the flames. Looks like somebody wants this escalated. Everyone, please calm down. But you probably can't take them on. I've had a bad back for years. I can't do violence. Me too. I have a herniated disc. The only thing I can hurt anyone with is my sincerity. My body doesn't stand a chance. Well, I've trained for a few years, but I've got hemophobia. Maybe things haven't quite... haven't gotten quite that intense yet, just yet. We can't be this divineless, can we? Are we just gonna sit and do nothing after all they did to us? It doesn't sit right with me. Why is his opening ceremony allowed to go on after they destroyed our arts festival? Papa, what do you think? Come, get your things. We're going to that glass building. We aren't actually going there to fight, are we? Mr. Diaz, wait. No, I'm telling you to bring your sound equipment and instruments. We lost our venue, so we'll use Raynell's Galleria. They don't want to see us dancing, we'll make them watch us dance. A massive roar goes off. The crowd is suddenly riled up, like a pile of dry hay set alight by a match. There we go. That's what we like to see. What do we do now? Let's start by keeping an eye on them. <clears throat> uh, 
Did we get the job done? No idea, but either way, they are going to the Galleria. The report, the muse beasts have uh, emerged from the hole. Senor, uh, where do I put this vase? Oh, that goes to exhibition hall number three. Gracias. You're going the wrong way. Hall number three is that way. Pardon, I'm uh, new here. Searched almost the entire museum. We've got heavy security detail everywhere except this area. I've racked my brains for so long that none of my ideas got me inside. Uh, even though all the leads point in here. Yes. So again, Tequila was investigating those explosives, so I think he probably has an idea of where they, they are. So I think maybe my theory might be, or at the very least, I don't know. This could just be an indication that Raynell had the explosives at some point, not necessarily that they are here currently. What's coming? The opening ceremony is about to start. Senor Milos uh, requested everyone to leave the Galleria and attend the opening ceremony in the plaza. What? Even us? He was clear that not a single one of us is to stay in here. All right, uh, let's go, hermanos. The perfect opportunity. Maybe the perfect opportunity to get exploded, but... Range. Raynell is making everyone go to his conference. What is he trying to do? This place doesn't seem all that special either compared to the other places. Maybe. Ernesto takes out a few glass balls from his pocket and places them gently onto the ground. Although they should normally be stationary on a flat surface, they all begin to roll in the same direction. Or a slightly slanted. Gila knocks on the wall. Just as I thought, here's a secret door. Let me guess, maybe this unremarkable painting? The conference will start in two hours, and some early arrivals are already seated. Have you decided what you're talking about during the ceremony? Doesn't matter. It's all to buy us time anyway. Let's just pick something from the proposals we got. That CVAP thing looks good to me. What will we use for the background picture of the presentation? A painting from the Galleria? Use a picture of Matteo. If you humiliate the, him like that, knowing him, he'll likely have an outburst. Why are you worried? I invited him ex exactly because I wanted to humiliate him. <laughs> Besides, do you think I still care about his tantrums after all this time? His rage is nothing compared to the despair that those below him will feel when the Galleria explodes. Okay, so. We've had it confirmed. Nice. The wealth that was invested into this place and the money-grubbing ambitions of the arts market is all going up in one big explosion. All that worthless trash sold at astronomical prices, grotesque creations with their expressions and messages warped. True art left untouched by in storage, only ever seeing the light of day when resold. Look at what these greedy men have done to them. Now these pieces will at last find a proper home in the flames. Appropriate time to deploy Ifrit, I suppose. The art market will be in chaos the next few years. That's what I want. Every time those investors think back on this day, they will shudder and quake. They'll see the true value of the arts, never again to be mere merchandise for trading. And the artists who suffer for it will finally be free of this market madness. It's a shame my mother and the old bones aren't here. Raynell? Come, sit with me a little, Milos. Let's wait for tomorrow together. Okay, so the plan is not to uh, necessarily kill Mateo, but he is going to, he is trying to uh, destroy him socially, perhaps. Oh, dark. Not even a bit of light here. Good thing I brought a flashlight. Good thing you didn't bring a lighter. 
Ooh. What's this? With a flashlight's beam, Ernesto finds packaging bags scattered across the hidden room's floor. The flammables inside are all neatly placed against the wall. They are piled on top of one another, reaching all the way to the ceiling. Man, those guys were weak. I regret not giving them a few whacks with the staff here. Alright, so. It seems that the, the story is about to reach a very interesting climax. So, and moreover, it seems we're going to have a little bit more time to anticipate before the true explosion really gets underway. You know, initially I had thought that that boom plus hostages was just a reference to Fuse, but there were hostages taken in CR, uh, CR5, and there is going to be a boom soon, so... Curator's reception room. How fortuitous that we made it in time for such an important event. Now, come with me, please. Well, here's hoping tequila gets out before the place explodes. Uh. <sighs> Ray Nell really knows how to grind gears. A perfectly good art gallery opening and he has to hold it late in the night. I'm stuck here waiting to finish it in the morning. Uh, I bet Raynell's to totally gonna show us something totally out you there, don't you? Why the all-nighter otherwise? Well, it's certainly gonna be out there. Whatever, I was looking forward to the street art community festival any anyway, and that got cancelled for no reason. I've got nowhere else to be. Raynell's taking the joke too far, keeping the concrete details of this opening ceremony secret even from high-level partners like us. Hm. I suppose playing to the gallery is his literal job. You think of a joke that manages to drive over half of Terra's art investors scrambling over our Bunker Hill City HQ all the way to eh, the way they have for the Galleria Cristalla. Then I'll hear you whine. Yes, yeah, sir. This Casimir is in on the brochure. I wonder if his salon really will get a painting or two of mine sold. This isn't Laetanian. It's all about your story, whether or not it's enough to invite and excite the investors. Didn't you say to leave all that work to you? I kept telling you, dye your hair, learn some profanity, dress in tatty clothes, call yourself a rebel against the rotten system of nobility, and they'll all eat it right up. But you won't do any of that, so what can I even say? I'll give you one last tip. It can't beat a rebel spirit, but there's people who still like the down-and-out noble as a cell. Whether or not it's enough to get the investors stirring all comes down to you. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. Our opening ceremony is about to commence. Repeat, ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. Our opening ceremony is about to commence. Raynell saunters up to the podium erected in the Galleria's front plaza. He calmly surveys the crowd before him a few times, especially the ones in seats closest to him. He confirms that all he expected have shown up, and then clears his throat. <clears throat> Everyone... Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Please, take your pick, depending on when you usually sleep. Thank you to everyone who applauded, and thank you to those who didn't. You have, after all, sacrificed your own precious sleep hours to admire this magnificent dawn with me, here in the City of Two Suns. Hmm. Thank you for your warm welcome. Thank you for joining me, as together we make history, a small part of it for sure, and possibly of no note to ages far from now, but to all of you here, it will be one to remember for the rest of your lives. Man, he's really laying it on thick. I like it, though. What a smooth talker. God save Bolivar, and God save the souls. Our tourists fork out money with their brains full of air. And the future of the city is one and the same. 
Emano, you need some fresh lyrics. Let me accompany for you. I'll write you something more topical. God save the coalition. God save Kowalski. The army brass gets in bed with all of our slumming millionaires. On the night when the fright nightmare beast comes to play. Everyone, welcome to Da Souls, and welcome to Galleria Crestawa. Before we get to the main course, I'd like to introduce you to all to this event that marks a new age. I'm sure not all of you are here for the Galleria or the opening ceremony. I'm sure a lot of you are sitting there are thinking, this is some forced antic by Kazimirazian Failson. You would probably care more for something lucrative, so I have it laid out here before you, to satisfy your curiosity and greed. Ladies and gentlemen, please bring out your personal terminals and raise them high in the air. You proclaim yourselves individuals of refined and discerning taste. You keep up with the trends. Portable terminals, an invention to stand with the great. An escape for people from the guilt of wasted time, bringing news to every corner of every city, connecting them all together as one. And it's on this rich future vein I'm willing to build a drilling platform in the name of art and stuff your wallet with, with full with the golden coins and crisp paper bills it, grusheth, it gushes forth. It is with great pomp and circumstance that I introduce you to this groundbreaking invention, which will soon make waves throughout the intercity net. The Collector's Virtual Art Piece Project. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, he's doing NFTs. <laughs> oh, I guess he did say that, though. He was just going to pick something out of a hat, basically. <laughs> to keep them distracted for a little while. Anyway, let me take that again uh, <laughs> with less laughter this time. <clears throat> the Collector's Virtual Art Piece Project. Bro, how come I've never seen you before? What are you talking about? I live right upstairs from you. Oh, you're that one guy. Uh, Gisto? Yeah, you got it. Didn't you go to get treated, though? Who cares? Does getting treated give Raynell the right to storm into our neighborhood and wreck our, our stuff? <laughs> you're right. How about it? Let's head over to that gallery and throw a real party. Should we go big? No oh, duh, we go big. Now you're talking. You can't give a guy like that a single inch. One of the agitators again, I take it. Collector's virtual art piece. This is what you did with our capital? Ah, think about it. Soon, some artists will cease to work in paints and brushes. They'll sit before their terminals, create works for the intercity net, and you'll be just as able to invest in. I can take any painting in the gallery's collection, make it a one, make a one-for-one one copy of it on the intercity net, and you'll be able to see its every detail on your terminals whenever you want. No one will be able to steal or duplicate the painting. All rights to the virtual artwork will lie with you. Sell it, destroy it, it's all up to you. This is blasphemy against art. What was that? I'm blaspheming against the art? Look at that grizzled, big-bellied investor beside you. If you want blasphemy, well, he's the master. You people don't care what creators conceive or convey. You just want the rights to the interpretation in your greasy grip. To easily manipulate prices against market trends. You do the same thing, and so does your father. When have I ever tried to claim that Sispan... Uh, yeah, Sispan Kowalski does not blaspheme against art. I know at a glance that the man beside you, eagerly agreeing with everything you say, is desperate for you to beg others to blaspheme against his art for only a prettier penny, isn't he? You're mad. Is arguing with the audience part of his opening ceremony? Uh, look, he made a name for himself as a maverick. You can't deny that, can you? Can you, sir? Hmm. Eh. Oh, dull. All he knows is fiddling with his terminals. Ugh. 
I'm surprised this bunch isn't any better, hypocrites. El Capitan covers the ominous glint in the corner of his eye and puts on an expression of indifference before anyone can cotton on to him. Ladies and gentlemen, I am about to present the very first batch of CVAPs in all of Terra. Beneath the podium, the crowd hushes for a spell. They've had an ample taste of Raynell's zero amenity to reason, but a man without reason is still a man, one who'd naturally want to maintain the privileged life he enjoys. Or, to put it another way, he needs money too. The issue is the difference, and the difference is that the layperson who abides by the rules make mo makes money in ways everyone can accept and be, amic and be amicable while doing it. The unreasonable sod, meanwhile, has a nasty habit of looking down on the rest while churning their cash. But, no matter. As long as the sod seeks money, the layperson will always find a piece to pick up every last scrap of the madman's innards clean. Sir, what should we do? Let's see how this plays out. See what collectibles he can wheel out for us. The intercity net isn't enough to sustain a new field of investment, but there's a chance that this madman can strike some actual treasure. We got ways to get what we want, anyhow. These pieces brim with the kindness and hospitality and brightness and sheer beauty I've come to feel during my time in Dos Souls, and so they possess the geist of commemoration, one to forever elude comparison. I proudly present to you all, El Capitan Molesto. Uh. <laughs> 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 What a scene. What a scene. They keep coming up with even better thumbnails. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> how... How is this worth anything? You're out of your mind. A rich kid with brain rot. It's over. It's all over. There's no art salon here. Why do I paint for a living? Wait, bro, that virtual art piece or whatever, that one... You think Raynell based it on you? Me? Well, Capitan stands himself up, first looking at the terminal in his hand, then at the show screen, and finally at Raynell, whose line of sight meets his. Capitan Matteo, in light of how jolly our first meeting was, I have one more gift for you here. You are going to be the model for this first ZVAP in the history in the entire history of Terra. Okay, so yes, he is. Definitely intending to absolutely destroy Mateo. <laughs> he is going to destroy Mateo with this. There will be there will be absolutely no coming back. Come, pick one. I'd be glad to grant it to you, free of charge. All eyes in the venue land on El Capitan. He does not immediately respond to Raynell. His first order of business is, is one more glance at his terminal. And, finally, he sees the news he's been waiting for this entire time. No need, Senor Raynell. You keep it for yourself. So sorry, everyone, but I have urgent news to announce. Who are you? I'm a representative of the Bolivarian Coalition Government and us all, Senor. The latest news indicates that a terrorist threat targeting the gallery is imminent. I ask you all to follow my instructions and get to safety. Reliable information suggests that rioters are charging our location at this very moment. Do you please follow the soldiers under my command to shelter in the gallery? Ooh, that's a bad idea. Vague. On the horizon are a notable number of silhouettes seemingly charging for the galleria, apparently emerging with an indistinct, indistinct jumbled chorus of singing. Come with me, senor. No! I need to find Candela and... Not now. You grab him. Sir. Let's go, Raynell. Mr. Mateo, you really have furnished my opening ceremony with a tremendous surprise. Men, I want you to haul him away, off to his favorite balcony to watch the sun rise. I'll have a talk with him later. Oh, also, remember to make him climb the stairs himself. 
status. We managed to intimidate, uh, sorry, convince the majority to accept our arrangements. We're relocating them to the Galleria Cristawa interior now. There's a few troublemakers unwilling to listen to us, you see. Troublemakers. Once the majority are inside, I want blades against their throats. See if they have the stomach to make trouble then. Sir. What about the street art people? They'll be here in a few minutes. Our plants there have succeeded in inst instigating them. Now we just wait for them to reach the plaza and carry out their atrocities, and they'll substantiate the terrorist attack claim. Dawn is coming. We need to hurry. Well, this is going to... This is turning out uh, a lot worse than probably uh, Mateo planned for it to be. The gallery is just up the, just after the turn there. I can't wait to give Raynell a shock. I like it. We'll smash up his gallery and loot every last piece of, of stupid junk in there. Huh? What's your deal? What? What's my deal? Didn't we say we were going to go big? When I said go big, I meant we were going to turn his gallery doorstep into our own arts festival and completely flip Raynell's opening ceremony. What was your idea of going big? I... Whatever, I'll go scout ahead. Hmm. Back now? What's up? That guy there said he lives above me, but I'm not buying it. Go on. What's up? The hawker's jaw drops wide open. He points a finger at the gallery front plaza just to turn away. There's a podium there, and seats, and even jackets left on those seats by the audience. But not one person is present. Not a one. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. So, I'm going to step away for a little bit. Again, I need to apply some manual cooling to my damaged mechanical arm. See us. Be right back. There we go. Alright, I have returned. So. Things are probably not going to go the way that uh, Mateo planned. But yeah, given circumstances, I imagine that, uh... I imagine that Raynell probably set these up, like, to explode at a specific time. So, assuming that Tequila doesn't, like, defuse them or something, uh... Mateo has basically just set up a situation where he and all of his forces are going to be exploded. So that's not great for him, but it's fine for the rest of us. Anyway. So, TR7. I see now why uh, Originium Explosives are one of the mechanics from this event, but we haven't seen them outside of that one stage, I don't think. We got a lot of barricades and a lot of enemies. I imagine we're going to see probably a lot of scouting enemies, you know. I imagine we're also probably not going to get much more use out of Ifrit in this instance. The thing about Ifrit is that she's very strong when she's good, but there's not a lot of situations in which she's particularly good. Because again, she has the very specific range, the very narrow range. Which means that you really need a situation like the one that we were on, on CR6, where you have this sort of long line where enemies are going to spend a lot of time if you really want to be able to make use of her abilities as effectively as possible. I suppose with her ability to reduce art uh, resistance and to reduce defense, she could sort of work as a force multiplier for other units if you happen to have sort of a situation you know, where enemies are getting blocked in a specific place. But, uh, but yeah. Again, she's not... She isn't as flexible as a lot of other units. And this definitely doesn't look like a map that's going to suit her very well. Again, she simply cannot attack anything to the side of her. She just attacks in a straight line, so... <clears throat> Pardon. Anyway. I don't know precisely what I want to do, but I do know that I don't... I do know that I don't necessarily want Ifrit currently. I don't know if there's any specific other unit that would be good here, so let's just uh, 
get Aesthesia back. Why not? I'm over here, doctor. It occurs to me that I've never upgraded any of Aesthesia's skills. I suppose that's not the worst thing in the world, but it's something to keep in mind if I want to keep using her in the future. Have I ever upgraded Croissant? Yes, I have. Yeah, I don't know why I decided to check Miracle Field. It's not a skill that gets upgraded. It's a talent. Anyway, so. I'm definitely interested. I'm definitely interested in this. I feel like this is probably... This could be a stage where... We might want to try out the Mind Deployer. Yeah, again. The Block Reinforcement Bear device. I don't know if that is based on a specific... Uh, like a specific op like Operator's Gadget from Rainbow Six Siege. I'm like 100% certain the temporary cover is based on Jaeger's uh, Grenade Intercepting Device. It can intercept other things, I think, but it's mostly for grenades, I believe. Um, and yeah, the Mind Deployer, I also don't know if that's based on anything specific. There's a lot of characters who use mines of some description. Yes, Reinforcement and Temporary Cover is best. Hmm. Yes. I don't know, I do want to use, I do want to try out the Mind Deployer at the very least. We, we have gotten a lot of good use out of the Reinforcement device. Yes, also... Hello, Aiki. Aiki Aimi. Yes, glad you could stop by. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, anyway, I do want to try out the Mind Deployer since we've just not used it before. It might be, again, it might be, given that it interacts with Originium device, or Originium explosives, it might be best on a stage that makes use of those. But, again, I do want to, I want to try it out at least once. So, let's get into things. But first, into cutscenes. Sir, all ceremony attendees are under our control now, and Raynell has been secured on his balcony. Good. Are our reinforcements in position? Fifteen trucks are parked outside the gallery perimeter. You don't need me to tell you what to do next. Sir. Remember, tell those wassos not to wreck the art as they load it onto the trucks. If anyone damages a single piece, I'll take a finger off them. Roger. Oh, also don't forget to confiscate the terminals off those pampered rats. And any belongings they have on them, I'm assuming we also... Hmm, you get it. I like that. I don't care how you handle the people, but the art, you use a feather touch on that. Go. I still need to see Senor Raynell about something. Well... Uh, you're probably not going to want to spend too much time here, uh, Mateo, but uh, you do you, I suppose. Good morning. Nice view of the sunrise. Sorry, you're far too cultured for that. I should be asking you if it's beautiful, no? The silent treatment. If you think that's any you're any safer for, you're gravely mistaken. But let's get on topic, which is that I have no topic for you. All you need to do is sit here, behave, and act like you're a victim of a terror attack. That's what you're casting me as? Oh, look at that. You do have a mouth. Sorry, my fault. I thought you'd seen through something or other, but then I thought a little bit more, and no, this is just the coincidental idiotic concoction of a man blinded by greed. How about that? Up standing here a moment ago, and now you're starting to lose your temper. No, I have no complaints at all regarding this coincidence, because I've come to see it for what it is, simply the finishing touch on my final creation. And of course, because it was coincidence and not your intention, I thank Lady Luck before you, Capit Capitan. Excellent. Now shut up. Sir. Sir. What? Intruders? Uh, no, actually, it's... We'd better talk inside. Papa, did we get the date wrong or what? Impossible. Look at that scene. A crowd was just here moments ago. Something happened. So, someone saw us, reported to Raynell, and he ran back inside his gallery? This isn't Raynell's MO. Supposing he did know we were coming, he might be outraged or excited, but he'd never turn tail and run. 
So, what is this? Huh? A terminal? Is that mine? Uh, hello? Ernesto? Speaking. Uh, how's it going? Getting somewhere with your personal business? Arletta, notify the street art people not to go near the Galleria, at least for today. What? Why? They've planted a huge amount of Originium explosives in there, ready to blow at any time. Originium what? <laughs> Arletta, I don't like the sound of that laugh. Where are you? Me, Ella's gang, Techno, Diaz, the artist. Everyone's in the plaza in front of the Galleria right now. So why don't you get out of there fast? Sorry, bro, but I've got a few questions for you too. Ernesto, why are you all why are this you this clued in? Where are you? Cool, got it. Tell me every last piece of information you have, Ernesto. Arletta. Or else I'm going in to save you like I don't oh no a thing. Hello, Tudo. I tell you to make sure your men don't wreck the artwork and you proceed to ruin one personally. Sir, just hear me out. Inside that picture I broke, there was a... a... an Originium bomb. A what? And it's... it's not even the only one. I spotted a suspicious wall in the stairwell like it was freshly plastered over, which didn't seem right. So you broke the wall down, and there were bombs there too? Not bombs, they were detonation controller nodes, which means that there's more than one detonator, and there could be more explosives than we know. And that's what you're casting me as? I thought you'd seen through something or other, but then I thought a little more, and no, this is just the coincidental idiotic concoction of a man blinded by greed. Sir, these things could level the, level the whole gallery, and we don't even know why and they how they detonate. It could be manual or timed. Let's load everything as fast as we can. Take the cash off the rich guys and call it here. You're ready to just walk away? The bombs are inside the Galleria. Ready or not is not the question here, sir. If we don't pull this off, we'll be public enemies of the coalition government and us souls. All we have to do is run. They won't catch us. Run where? Into the wilds? Hand a couple hundred gold certificates to each man and disband? What have, been, we, we've, what have we been risking our lives for? No, sir, I'm serious. If worst comes to worst, we could ditch this country as mercenaries or bandits. Bandits? I'm just supposing. My point is we don't have to play along with Raynell's insanity. Fine, I get it. Who else knows of this? Uh, only me. I haven't dared tell anyone else. I was worried the news would panic the men, so I came straight to you. Very well done. Go. Tell them they can stop hauling. Clean the kuchos downstairs of every last drop of their grease, and then we evac immediately. Thank you. Oh, and also, stop losing your head. Be calm, walk slow, and don't let them see a single crack, you hear me? The soldier about faces, then breaks into a run for the stairs. Suddenly comes the sound of a bowstring... He has no time to look back before a heavy bolt pierces straight through his back and protrudes from his chest. My boy, after so much loyalty, so much preparation, so many decisions, so many points of no return, you go off to be a bandit? I lost my chance to turn back. So did you. A tragic end to a character that we had come to be amused by. A terrorist attack collage? Raynell set up the bombs. The captain take, took the crowd inside, and neither seemed to know what the other was up to. That's what Ernesto tells me, anyway. They're both insane. Yeah, both of them are crazy. We need to prep for the worst-case scenario, with the hostages prioritized over above all, uh, above all else on all counts. Let's hash out a concrete plan of action. We got five names to our side. Yada, Doc, Fuse, Me, and Rhode Island's Catapult. Count me in, too. You sure? Don't forget my past life. Besides, it's not just that Raynell L trapped in there, and not just the investors, either. Many are ordinary folk. I have to go. 
Papa. Don't try talking me out of it. I'm going. Who's talking out? I'm going too. You? You and the others can forget it. It's dangerous in there. Come on, Papa. Think about it. Sure, we've never been firefighters, but otherwise we're, we're, we're thinking everything you're thinking, no? Guys, listen to me. We're about to rescue everyone in the Galleria. This is entirely voluntary. Everyone who's in, step forward and listen to Ayla. If you don't want to go, no pressure. Head back to the neighborhood in case Mateo makes a move on our community and screws us before he's down for good. What do you think? You're going? Don't want to die, I'll be real. I'm not going. Think of all the pictures still waiting for me to take them. I kind of want to see those ardent esters wet themselves in fear. That's tasteless. Tasteless. <laughs> Pants wedding's no good show. What I want to see is the art Raynell bought. I thought you'd have to cough up for tickets from Raynell to see the goods, but it changes things if we're going in to save them anyway. Uh, uh, I mean, if you're gonna... What are you pulling out Raynell's pamphlet for? This... Galleria Cristawa Exhibition Hall 2, Exhibit 14, an anonymous Minoan bard's manuscript from the night before Sargon and annexed Minos. How could such a beautiful poem, such a precious manuscript, end up bought by Raynell? I learned from Minoan just for this one poem. I'll recite it for you right now. Don't bother. It's all Minoan to me. Ugh. <sighs> what, the, what the heck are you crying for? When I think about that bard's bitter fate, and then I think about that manuscript, and then I think about me, I just... I just... I'm going, is what I am. Even if the bombs blow me up when I see it, it'll be worth it. I have to go! Considering the number of hostages, we can have the majority of our people evac the ones we rescue. Better leave HVT suppression and explosive disposal work to us. Catapult? Is tequila on comms right now? I got him. Mr. Tequila? Miss Ayla? Don't tell me you're crashing the gallery with Arletta. It's dangerous in here. We're the ones you hire to deal with this sort of thing, sir. Catapult says you're trapped in a dark room on the east wing on the east wing third floor of the gallery, and the room is filled with explosives. Seeing how lively it is downstairs, there should be plenty of people shut in there, correct? Yes. Are the captain's men in there? Have they noticed the bombs? They should be there, but it's too noisy. I can't quite make anything out. Hold on. T Tequila? Two soldiers passed by the dark room entrance just now. They were discussing how to load the art onto their trucks. Good. That's what we'll build our plans around. Say, is something this, re this small really going to blow up whoever's in there? Bring up the gallery as glass walls is one thing, but we're talking about the warehouse that Mateo used as his command node. Who knows if he has patched up the walls there. Of course it will. Anyone knows something about blowing up buildings and everything inside of them, it's fused. But, okay, you're repelled outside the second floor, but you're still standing against a wall. Shouldn't you bust a window and throw these things in? Did you hear something just now? It was like, dunk, dunk, dunk. Well, except it was five donks. Three. <sighs> Who cares if it was three or five? It doesn't matter. We can die of old age holding this bunker if we want. All those idiots in the plaza can stand around drooling. Deployed. Time to pull back. The classic. The funny fuse moment. <laughs> A string of explosions rings out of the building. Catapult's jaw hangs slack as she stares at Hughes. About to offer a word of admiration, Hughes shakes his head at her. That is what Fuse is about. And then from inside the room, an even more violent explosion. The cluster charge has ignited the explosives cache within. Very good, very good. Ayla, this is Fuse. We should have hostiles from Perimeter Defense coming out now. Get ready to engage. 
and catapult. It's about time we move. Don't you think the explosions would already would have knocked them out? Never assume your enemy's an idiot, even if he really is. Incoming! Incoming! Are you some kind of genius? Not in a million years. What I have is training, intel, synergy with my teammates, and just a pinch of tech, little pinch of technology. It's that simple. Very good, very good. No All right. Time to waste. So, Myrtle, here, once doctor. again. Maybe Crossbowman Ambusher, okay. we've seen these before, okay. All right, we've got Hounds. Don't like that, but very doable, manageable. I feel like maybe Earth Spirit wasn't the best choice to deploy in this specific situation, but uh, yeah, she definitely wasn't the best choice to deploy in this specific situation. Oh well. Hmm. Um, I guess I didn't need to wait until Fuse. I was thinking specifically, you know, I wanted uh, the more, yeah, the ability to deal with multiple enemies at once, but. Alright, so we've got those fellows, these fellows uh, with the shields. They are a bit of a problem, but they're less of a problem. At least they're a different type of problem. Linda, this ends here. So yeah, definitely should have not deployed Earth Spirit there. I think it would have been more valuable to deploy someone else sooner. Yes. The song is good where she is. Now I'm definitely seeing the, the value of the portable cover. Um, ah, okay, so this... Okay, loss of the detection line that detection line that extends until it reaches high ground. Enemies that cross the detection line will be will be tagged with bombs, and the bombs can further detonate ex originally and explosives. Hmm. So yes. So, Earth Spirit's going to get stunned. She isn't going to be able to heal, at least not directly. Mm -hmm. I maybe could have waited to, or a, hmm. battle field observing more. Ah, oh. could have paused that before I started reading the name, I suppose. Yes. Anyway, Stay calm, my friend. so I don't like this guy, but it looks like we're gonna have to wait a little while for the uh, mine to go off on him. Um. Focus on the desert. Main alert. Right, can't deal with that guy. Um, not right away. Um, Earth Spirit's doing a pretty good job of distracting the enemy, if nothing else. Yeah, it does seem that the mine device activates multiple times, which is pretty, pretty neat. The saw is doing fine. It looks like we're getting mostly crossbowmen on this lower side. I don't like this mortar man. And I especially don't like the fact that these uh, mines are not. Uh... Well, they're fine. They're doing fine. Linda, you shouldn't have set foot here. Okay, let's start using other units. Maybe that might Over be something me. that would be valuable to us, perhaps. Hmm. Why did? Ah, okay. So yeah. Hmm. Yana is taking damage, and I don't like that. Something needs to be done about these mortar men. I should probably. Yeah. Yana. Okay, I was gonna say Yana might be in a bad way here, but she is about to. Yeah, she was about to, and did in fact switch out. So we're seeing a lot of enemies get stunned, so that's nice. Um. But we're seeing enemies get past croissant, which is not so nice. <clears throat> yes. So. Do it like you usually do. So yes. So. Darn it! I'm not giving up yet. Need to do something about those mortar men. So what is their deal? Battlefield observing mortar men. A mortar man with keen senses who fires shells embedded with reconnaissance units. An exceptional talent within the coalition army. Capable of extremely long range attacks. We definitely saw that. 
Shells deal area damage to target and any allied units within the surrounding 8 tiles and exposes targets for 5 seconds. When exposed, allied units cannot use barricades to keep them set. Well, yeah, we know how. Actually, take more damage. Is that? That's... Oh, no. Okay, that's not different. I was thinking that their, yeah, exposure was different from others, but no. So... I don't see... It doesn't say anything about, like, any specific way to deal with them, so I think we're just going to have to live with them, more or less. Assault was in a decent place, but she didn't have the right setup. Doc or someone... Well, yeah, Doc would have been the choice, I think. Well, Doc or a... Doc or Arch damage, I think, because she was getting a lot of uh, high defense enemies on her. I guess we did... Uh, we didn't end up in a situation where maybe Ifrit would have been good, but I'm going to stick to my guns for right now. We were seeing a lot of enemies bunch up in that front area there, so I think it would still look pretty good to put mines there. But yes, beyond that, Croissant did fine. She needed someone to help back her up, but that's easily accomplished. Everyone else was doing okay, no real complaints. Earth Spirit was not the play, I don't think. She was there, and she contributed, but I don't think she was the play. Um, I think we might want to consider swapping her out again for, say, Rope. Not necessarily because I want to use Rope specifically, but more so just because I want to have a unit that I can place on a range tile who has the stats of a melee unit. But really, you know, any operator would be perfectly fine, F-Eater, you know. Again, the only reason I think of Rope specifically, or, you know, a pull operator specifically, is just because uh, we can, yeah, hold enemies in place a little bit longer while they're being pulled. Um, I suppose Snow Sant is probably still our best pull operator, but Rope is cheaper, so let's go with Rope. Yeah, again, Rope is mostly here just to get shot by the crossbowmen. So that, um, so that our units who, yeah, basically I'm putting her there to get shot by crossbowmen so Perfumer doesn't get shot by crossbowmen. This is a role that could also be fulfilled by the temporary cover, which could be the play, considering that we weren't seeing the barricades take much damage. I feel like Iana... Hmm. Mirage Mine could be valuable, but we're not seeing... Well, no, I was going to say, we're not seeing a lot of stealth. We're definitely seeing a lot of stealth. Um, it might actually be better to use Omniscient Tactics, actually. Now that I think about it. We'll keep... We'll keep Omniscient... Mm. I don't know, because... How long does... Yeah, nullifies attackers and deals ability for six seconds. So, Mirage Mine... I don't know, the Crossbowmen don't, didn't come super quickly. So Mirage Mine could be better. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll try it out. Friendly reminder, my hologram doesn't stop bullets. Other than that, I think we're probably good to go. We've still got a caster around. We've still got Astesia if we really need some more arch damage. But I think things are pretty okay. We just need to back up our defender with a little bit more damage. And play it a little bit safer we'll on that downside, lower side. So. Well, looky here. The bad guys are coming to donate their gear. How do we want to position rope? I suppose we shouldn't think about it too much. Um, if she's this positioned spot? this way, she can start uh, dealing damage sooner. <clears throat> Once I have you, you're not getting away. Hmm. We have still failed to accomplish our goal here. Lower your voice. Could we have? Almost certainly, we could have done oh, better there. I think, yeah. I don't know, I'm still... I think we probably should have just waited. Should have just waited to uh, deploy uh, 
I don't know. We could have deployed... Oh, we could use another Vanguard, actually, now that I think about it. Here we are. It's been so long since I more or less discarded the double Vanguard strategy that I kind of forgot about uh, using it again. Okay, anyway. So, Yana... Maybe makes... Eh, well, okay. Actually, if we place Iana here, she's going to draw in the attention of the crossbowman, and thus she is going to fulfill her goal... Yeah, fulfill her goal without having to... Uh, yeah, rope is possibly redundant here, is basically what I'm trying to say. Um... So... Everything is fine. We need for too long to yeah Understood. start start uh, making use of steward, and I think we're also gonna want Gaviel up on this top side because as tough as uh, yeah as tough as yeah Poisson is I don't think she's you know she isn't infinitely tough. Did I? I did forget to place Yana. Okay. Actually, yeah, okay, me. we're good. Um, I was worried for a second that I might have positioned her humor in such a way that Yana wouldn't be able to, uh... Yeah, wouldn't be able to, uh... Help. Um, anyway. Anyway, as I was saying, Gaviel, here, you draw in the fire from the Mortarmen without exposing nearby allies. Yeah, Yana getting stunned is not the worst thing in the world. It's definitely not the best thing in the world, but it's not the worst thing in the world either. So yes. <clears throat> I do think it's valuable to double up on these to prevent the, uh, or to start dealing with the mortar men a little bit faster. Myrtle is probably not relevant anymore. We can... Hmm, I was going to say we can get rid of her. We still probably can. Um, now I'm a little bit not uncertain where I want to put Ayla, though. Don't get yourself killed, dummy. Try not to get yourselves hurt. Similar sentiments exposed, expressed by different doctors. Come on, get it together. All right, a little bit of stun never hurt anyone too harshly. What would really be nice if I could deploy Iana in such a way as to... Oh dear. Oh, we've lost our medic up top. That's really bad. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. Okay, so. Our plan has failed. So, we need those mortar men dealt with sooner. Darn it. I'm not giving up yet. Hmm. The mines, I think, were still the choice. But we needed to deal with those enemies faster. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, it looks like this is going to be our trouble spot for today. So it looks like my decision with regards to Gaviel was a poor choice. Because, yeah, again, she doesn't, she doesn't quite have the... She's not very tough, unfortunately. Her toughness in game doesn't quite live up to her toughness in lore. Tip. The Gaviel that I know could eat mortars for breakfast. But uh, this one could only handle one as maybe a late afternoon snack. Anyway, so. There's no rope turning back now. Still seems to have been here, a less than ideal choice. They probably won't make it to tomorrow. The only question now is, do we just wait for views? And it looks like the answer to that question is yes, Lower actually. Yes. I do think that, honestly, probably one of our best choices here would be to just straight up, like, deploy Yana, like, in the middle here. Something like that, maybe? And just draw in enemy fire, basically? Because we want those mortar men to not be 
shooting our units that we like want to live. Pretty straightforward concept, I suppose, but anyway. Actually, if we place Gaviel down a little bit, she's a little bit less exposed, and she is more able to cover more tiles. Try not to get yourselves hurt. So, I do think we're going to want Perfumer. Oh, actually. Hmm, this is a little bit of a tactical blunder I've made. Um, okay, we can work with this. Because we don't Remember specifically everything. need Iana like anywhere in particular. Um, we do want some more assistance for Fuse, I think. Um, so Rope might actually be a good choice here. Um, Rope is has been placed in a poor position because she's going to uh, not going to be able to get much healing. Um, Mortarman is now a problem. Um, anyway, so, Assault. Oh dear. So, Iana. Again, my thought with Iana was basically just deploy her to distract the Mortarman. And I do think that's going to be kind of the play. She can't, like, do that much to them, but she can, you know, do something. Of course, now that <clears throat> now that we've placed her as we have, we can't safely. Oh dear. Um, I'm wrong. All right, we can't have Myrtle be blocking uh, because she can't block. Um, hmm. Okay. So yes. So this is bad. The situation has rapidly de degenerated. Our plan up top is succeeding, but we're still in a bad situation on the bottom. Fuse is able to take care of enemies pretty well, but he's not able to take care of them that well. We don't have arch damage on the top is a big, big problem for us. We're going to keep seeing mortar men yeah, showing up. All right, we need another violent response. Um, hmm. But yes, the crossbowmen aren't doing that, aren't causing that many problems for us, but they are going to continue causing problems for us. Um. So yes, a little bit more damage on the mortar men is perfectly fine and exactly what we want. Uh, but now we're leaking on the top because we aren't dealing with enemies fast enough. Oh dear. And now Ayla is going to get shot and so is Gabriel and we can't have that. Um, so yeah, we need damage up here and we can't afford for... Yeah, we can't afford for our backline to get mortared. Um, so yeah, Estesia is going to die, but she's going to die a hero's death. Myrtle is doesn't need to do her skill like immediately. Honestly, Perfumer getting shot isn't as bad as Hughes getting shot. Oh dear, Doc has gotten shot, which is. Very bad. Um, Alright, the... Okay, Mortarman is now going to uh, cease to exist. Not a problem. Um, but, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. There, I think we were mostly having issues with um, what units we deployed where precisely and in what order. So, yes. So, let's take some more thoughts of this. Weird way to phrase it, but anyway. So, 
We don't really we don't really have a situation where we can place Iana in the middle here, I don't think. We could, but I don't want to expose our units to being shot from the front. And the mortar men would take down the defenses eventually. We could reinforce them. We maybe should reinforce them actually, that could be good. But if we place Iana there, she can't really she can't really like supply any damage. Which is a little bit of a downside. Hmm. Okay. It is getting a little bit late. So I'm going to do something I don't usually do, and I'm going to check how many missions we have. Yes, I'm going to check how many missions we have in this event, because if we have, like, a few more, then I might want to... I, Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to decide whether I want to stop now or continue on. Okay. We have one more gameplay stage after this. Okay. So I think in these next two days, we should be able to clear two stages. If not, it is what it is. Okay. Anyway. So. I think I'll give it one more attempt, but I don't want to stay up too late because I do have my own life that I live, you know. <clears throat> Not everything is about playing a video game online for people's entertainment. Anyway. So. Things were pretty okay there. Um, Myrtle into Fuse was a good strategy. But yeah, that was... It worked out just... Perfectly fine. No issues. Good thing we got all that potential on Fuse, huh? <laughs> Granted, we could have waited another second or two. It wouldn't have mattered too much. It maybe would have made uh, Myrtle not be able to use her skill quite as immediately, but that's fine. So, we need to think about how and when we're placing our medics. So yeah, well, as long as Iana is, like, the last unit that we place, though, we should be okay. I think placing her on the bottom side would probably be a little bit better, because the top side could stand to have more arch damage, and Iana is not able to provide that. Yeah, it doesn't matter where Iana gets placed for the purpose... Well, hmm. I was going to say it doesn't matter where Iana gets placed for the purpose of the mortar men, but it does, actually, because if her skill gets triggered by something that isn't a mortar man, and the mortar men aren't going to get exploded. And that's not good. So, putting her up top could still be good. Putting her a little bit outside of the, the way of enemies. Again, we could place her, like, again, like, just completely out of the way, but I don't think that's gonna work for us. They would not be helpful. Yeah, top side needs arch damage, and we need to deploy our caster, whichever one we use, before we deploy Iana, so that we have, you know, room for Iana. We could also use Stesia or something like that. Um, I don't know the numbers on DPS of Astesia versus Steward, but I feel like they're probably favorable. Yeah, um... Astesia definitely has a lot more, or no, actually she does, she has less attack. She does get, you know, well, she has a bigger buff, but it's not that big of a difference. Hmm. More blocking is good. More blocking is good. Um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, top side needs more damage. Bottom side needs a little bit more blocking, I think. We could place, say, another defender to sort of shore up the position behind Fuse. And in fact, we could use a healing defender to get a little bit more healing on him. Because he's not... The issue isn't that he's taking a lot of damage. The issue is that enemies are stunning him and it's causing very stressful situations. So... I don't know... Yeah... I don't think Jessica's, like, our top choice here. We like her, but we don't, you know, like her that much. Well, we like her personally, but we don't feel that she is the choice here. So, four blockers. Um, Spot, Gummy are fine choices. 
Um, doesn't matter too much, honestly. I don't. Because again, we're not expecting them to block much. We're basically just deploying them to heal. So in that case, Spot is marginally less expensive. Spot is exactly one point less expensive than... Uh, exactly one point less expensive than Gummy. Does the same thing. Perfectly fine. Does not matter. Um... I want to ask about the meaning of this mission, man. Anyway, so Astesia, um is fine. We can keep her in our pocket. Steward could be useful, though a splash caster or perhaps a blast caster could be good as well. A little bit less inclined about blast because I want the flexibility. Flash is probably good if we're going to see more enemies clumping up on the top. Though ideally, with Steward's presence, or that of Astesia, we won't see enemies clumping up quite as much. Other than that, yeah, we just need to wait longer to deploy Iana, and that will solve a lot of our problems. Because again, the issue there was that, beyond just a uh, slightly suboptimal positioning on some of our medics, yeah, just... When we placed Iana meant that she wasn't going to be able to uh, fulfill the role that we had in mind for her. I'm here to help. So yes, anyway, Myrtle into Fuse. Happy? And maybe even do Fuse into Myrtle, but I don't think that would be as effective. Um, Remain silent. Alright, so, Fuse can easily deal with all of this, and it is no big deal. Yes, Rope is... I don't know, I don't... <laughs> I don't really... Rope is not, like, that valuable to us, honestly. I'm not, I don't really, I'm not really that concerned about her. Um, so, we're gonna start seeing our, like, the enemies coming from the top. If we had placed Fuse and Myrtle a little bit lower, we could have still had a place where we could place Rope to distract enemies. Um, but it's fine. Yeah, again, Rope is mostly here as a decoy too, so... Honestly, whether or not she can attack enemies is kind of immaterial. Um, but... Yeah, I do want the multi-target healing up here from Perfumer. Hmm. Um, yeah, I want the multi-target healing up here because, yeah, that's where the mortars are going to be shooting. Um. Yeah, okay. Anyway, Rope, uh, Rope can go here so that she can get healed. Is this a good spot? This is not a great spot, but it's, uh, the best spot that we've got available. So this is a battle. Okay, anyway, so, next up on the top side, we can deploy Gaviel. The deployment order doesn't matter that much, but I do want to avoid enemies, uh, yeah, the deployment order doesn't matter too much, but I do want to avoid enemies uh, targeting our software units, if I can avoid it. Before too long, I want to start putting the mines out. Honestly, I want those out before the Mortarmen start showing up. So, Steward is next up on the list, I think. Mm -hmm. I have to get serious now. Okay. So, the Mortarman is hey there, here. But he's not back. going to be that big of a deal or that long necessarily so yeah steward eh, um i don't Understood. like this but it is what it is um almost all right we can't place yeah we can't place an enemy like or a unit 
over sort of where Myrtle is or anywhere else sort of in that area because they would be subject to being shot by uh okay basically to yeah let me collect my thoughts here so I was thinking about placing Ayla there but placing Ayla there makes it so she's going to get uh destroyed by the crossbowmen that being said they could very well stop being uh I don't know. They could not yet have their ability to attack back. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like this is a situation where the, the portable cover probably would have been the best choice. But we've made the choice that we've made, and so we've just got to live with it. But yes, one way or another, Myrtle should be gone. Maybe she shouldn't be gone because she is kind of holding the line here. Hmm. Hard to say. Hmm. Maybe honestly it might be Doc that we need to that we need to swap out. Stewart's doing fine. Um Oh, right. I was going to switch out Myrtle for, uh, you know, what's his face? Um, Spot. He can heal himself, so it's less of a big deal. Um. Hmm. Honestly, Gaviel might be redundant. I'm going to see how this goes without Gaviel. Check End of the road. Yeah, again, my main issue is I just want those mortar men going down sooner. Whatever you say. Don't yeah, say Spock can this. heal himself, so the fact that uh, he's not within healing range of a medic is immaterial. Yes. So far, the team up top is taking out the enemies pretty quick there. Yes, unfortunately, we did have a slight mishap there from, uh, yeah, from Iana's Mirage Mine not going off in quite the position or quite the way that we would have liked. Oh, dear. Pardon. Hmm. Yes, yeah, Doc is doing fine. I suppose we could, like, use violent response at all. Maybe. Um... It's not that valuable, but, you know, it is something. Yeah, again, Yana's damage is somewhat immaterial. Steward, right. Steward has a completely automatic skill. We don't need to worry about him. Spot is doing fine. Okay, I think we're... I think we're golden. Because, yeah, Yana is actually... Taking some shots from the crossbowmen now, which I kind of wanted, but I wasn't planning on it happening in this way. We've got a whole bunch of units up top, but they're getting dealt with. The uh, well, they were getting dealt with. Um, okay, so we didn't quite have the healing that we needed, but we do have violent response. <clears throat> And if there's one thing we know, it's that violence can solve a lot of problems. It can't solve all of our problems, though. And so we probably should have swapped out Spot for Gaviel. So. Astesia, um can't block Ready that much, heal. but... Ready for um, ba -ba -ba -ba. We're fine. We're we we've won. Okay. I'm gonna skip this. <clears throat> Very well done, Doctor. Because I do want to wrap up for tonight. Because <laughs> I am quite tired. But I am very relieved that we've only got one mission left. Oh boy, we've got a lot going on in this mission, huh? Well, anyway, so. Uh, it is all coming to a very exciting conclusion here, and I am happy to, to see that. 
So, before we get started with the business, if anyone has any raid suggestions, I would be delighted to hear them. It's a little bit late for me to spend much time around uh, any of our potential raid targets, but I am always happy to see one nonetheless. Okay, so, what else is there to say? Bum, 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 bum. Arknights, yes. So, it's looking like we could very well clear uh, this event tomorrow. If so, then we're probably not going to stream Wednesday because I will need a break. Because we've been streaming a lot more than I, than I was expecting, and it's been a little bit stressful. So, that is what it is. Um, Arknights. So yes, again, probably tomorrow, probably 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Going to see about clearing the event and all that. I very, 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 very much hope that I do not forget, uh... Yeah, do not forget to read the end of this, uh, of Operation C... CR7 story. Because that would be very sad. Hmm. Where was I? Right, okay. So, Arc Knights tomorrow. Possibly Arc Knights on Wednesday if we aren't able to clear one stage in one stream, which is possible. It has happened before, especially on these uh, uh, event stages. But I will, I am very willing to upgrade our <coughs> upgrade our Rainbow Six operators yet more to see uh, to make this happen. Let's see. What else is there? What else is there? Yeah, okay. Right. Friday. We should be seeing another collab stream. If not, I don't know. But yes, if not, if not, I'll probably do one of our side games, Mika and the Witch's Mountain or Uma Musume Party Dash. We'll do one of them, I imagine, if there isn't a collab this Friday. Um, but yeah, other than that, once we have completed Operation Lucent Arrowhead, we're taking a break from Arc Knights for the rest of the week. And again, if we don't end up streaming on Wednesday, then I will be taking Wednesday off. Or if we don't, well, if I don't end up streaming, I'm not going to be streaming. Yes, that is true. What I meant to say is, if we have completed Operation Lucent Arrowhead by Wednesday, then I will conclude Operate, or yeah, I will not stream Arc Knights for the rest of the week. There we go. Okay. Anyway, all that being said, no raid suggestions have come in, and there's nobody on that I really know. So let's try something a little bit different. Let's just look for someone who's streaming Arc Nights right now. Oh hey, there's some, some weirdo named Tiberius Vanderfield. Anyway. So, let's see who's around. Usually I prefer to raid people that I already am familiar with. But, you know, I'm not I'm not picky, honestly. Um Not a whole lot of people streaming Arc Knights at this well, actually I don't know. Um I don't know. There might be a few. Um Eh, I don't know. <laughs> this is not a an instinct that I have. Uh, this is not an instinct that I have honed. Looking into uh, who is off available on Twitch, I usually don't seek out new streamers very frequently. Uh, but yeah, it does look like there there are in fact not a lot of people streaming, and a lot of the ones that are streaming are folks who don't speak English, or at least. As far as I can tell, currently on Twitch, there are six people streaming. One of them is me, and two of them are not, uh... Their stream titles are not in English, so I'm assuming that they don't speak English. Um... Oh, uh, let's drop by this one. They were the first one to catch my eye. A Twitch user by the name of Soul the White Angel. Another VTuber, it looks like. All right. Yes, they stream a variety of different games and love singing. All right. So. 
time to meet a new person. Raid. Soul of the White Angel. Whoops. There we go. Okay. Gone over the schedule and all that. But yes. Tomorrow's stream and Tuesday or Wednesdays, if it happens, will be at around 8.30 p.m. Central Time is the plan. And then the Friday stream should be around 9 p.m. Central Time. Yes. I think that covers all of the business that we needed to go over. Um, so, yes. The customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. And so, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you've had a fine night. I hope that you'll continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let us get this raid underway. <laughs>